Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we're going to do Amazon Prime Day, or as I hear it's called the Early Access Sale for Prime members. Anyway, the Amazon Prime Early Access Sale starts October the 11th, which should be when you see this because I'm filming this on Sunday. I don't normally do that. I give up my Sunday for you. What is on the sale? Well, I don't know. <laughs> but I know that you can get everything from big TVs down to little tiny gadget things that I'm going to show you today. And you can get up to 80% off. I tried to pick things to show you that are practical, that you will use all the time, or I do anyway. I can't show you everything, but I will link my Amazon store. If it makes me happy, I use it all the time, or it's something that I think that you guys might be interested in. I'm going to tell you about that today. I think I got about 20 things or so, so we're going to move through this list really quick. Listen, guys, you don't have to do this for just toothpaste. You could put this on your cosmetics too. What about your, I don't know, Laura Mercier primer? Okay, You can put this in replace of the cap, and then when you push on it, it goes and it comes out the top here, self-closing. So you don't have to worry about putting the cap back on or dropping the cap in the toilet. I didn't say I did that. These just go right on the top of tubes. These are like next to nothing. And I really, really like these, especially for people who don't put the caps back on the toothpaste or they got toothpaste all over the place and they just put the cap on there, right? And, and then there's this. This sits flat in the cabinet, just like that. And then you give her a crank and you're getting all the toothpaste out. See, there's the tube in there. Look how flat that is. We're getting every last bit of the toothpaste out of here. I like these because they're stainless steel and they just sit flat, keep it upright in the bathroom cabinet. I bought these first. They come in a pack of like four. These are not worth it. These are garbage, okay? I keep them in case we have something like caulk or something that's a bigger tube than toothpaste. Because you put this on there and you're supposed to like keep this up. Two things I don't like about that. It doesn't stand up like this. Two, it doesn't get all of the toothpaste. It gets a lot of the toothpaste, but not all of the toothpaste. This is cranking it all out, baby. So you're gonna get every last drop. So I highly recommend something like this over this. I know you're going, I can't believe you're showing me that on Prime Day. Why not? Remember when you used to be able to use the can opener and then you'd take the lid and you'd push it down and get all of the water and stuff out of it? Remember that? Okay, yeah. Well, that ain't what happens now. If you're like me and you go to Costco and you buy in bulk, when you get these cans, they don't use a can opener anymore. They're pop tops. And I've cut myself before. I don't like it. We don't have tuna as much as I'd like because I like tuna. I like making a tuna salad and chicken salad. And we don't mess with that because I don't want to take the chance on cutting myself because I is a klutz. This thing costs next to nothing. You can put it in the dishwasher. I mean, you could do your green beans and stuff with it too. But what I use it for is chicken and tuna. Put it on the top, squeeze down, pour it out. Every last bit of water's out of there. So if you're my age, you've probably got some sort of arthritis and back pain and it probably hurts you to make the beds and I don't know about you, but I've got this queen mattress that I have to, it's a real ordeal to change the sheets. It hurts. I go in there, I take my hands and I pull the mattress up. I stick my leg in between the box springs and the mattress, okay? And then I try to get the sheet underneath there and it kills me. I have to get my son to help me. I can't do it by myself. Or can I? Heck yes, I can. What is this? It's called the tucker. You take this and you put the contour sheet around that and then you just go like you're icing a cake. <laughs> and it just takes the contour sheet underneath there. You can tuck in your sheet all the way around. And we have now made making the bed a senior moment. <laughs> Seriously though, I'll see if I can find some footage to put in here of how the tucker works. Yeah, if you're like me, you need a tucker. And since we're talking about my bed and making the bed and stuff like that, my pillows. The pillow is called my face pillow. No, it isn't, you dork. <laughs> I keep saying that because it's mine. This is my face pillow, but the company's called your face pillow. And guess what? You can have one too, making it your face pillow. You guys have heard me talk about this more than once. And because I love this pillow so much and my enthusiasm for it is off the chart, right? <laughs> 
who gets this excited about a pillow. But because I love this pillow so much, they're sponsoring this video. This just in, Your Face Pillow is extending this offer and code even if you're not a Prime member, guys. So... The standard and large pillows are $59.99. The bundle, which is the pillow and the silk case, is $79.99. And if you use the family code of FRITZY10, you can score an additional 10% savings. I'm going to link a video right here of their biggest competitor, which I don't know if they want me to talk about that or not, but that's a complete disaster. I wouldn't take that pillow if you gave it to me. In fact, that company did give me that pillow and I took them to the Goodwill. <laughs> I hated that pillow so bad, but not these. In addition to all the things I've ever told you about the pillow, you know, how I can watch TV. If I'm laying down, I can like put my head on this part and watch TV and look where my face is. It's not getting wrinkled. I could sleep like that. But what I do is I'll lay it like this on this home. And then when I get ready to go to sleep, I roll down in here. Okay, so I can actually sleep on my back with this pillow and I'm never able to do that, but I can with this. And guess what else I discovered? <laughs> I don't know if I should be condoning sleeping on your stomach, but I found out that I can and it's super easy. I can sleep on my stomach with this and still not get any sleep wrinkles on my face. Don't you want to know how? <laughs> So this is how I sleep with it. I typically use this part facing me, the flat part. And there's a little hump right here that I think most people probably turn it this way. So what I do when I'm sleeping on my stomach, see that little part right there? I put my forehead right there. And I can be face down on the bed and my face is above the mattress. So it's not touching anything. It is a memory foam pillow, but unlike that one pillow that costs so dang much money that I reviewed for you before, the memory foam on this hasn't turned yellow or aged. I've been sleeping with this pillow for what, a year? This is the new one. It's the one for like if you are menopausal and you're overheating. See, it comes with a cover and it's quilted. I don't really have a favorite. I like both of these, uh, but if you are menopausal and having a hard time with overheating, then you might want to try this one here. I've got other pillows that have been sent to me, other pillows that I have bought, but I absolutely love my pillows. And the last time I talked about this, some of you actually went and bought this pillow and you came back and told me how great it is. If you buy this pillow, please come back and tell me because I bet what you're going to tell me is that you'll love it. It is, in my opinion, the best pillow. It's a Here's something I've showed you guys before. This is by Farber Wear. And what you do with this is when you're making your hamburger, you just like do this choppy thing while you're making your hamburger and it chops it up really fine. And you can also use it to mix up meatloaf, okay? Because like maybe you don't want to put your hands in there or it hurts more to be squeezing the meatloaf, mixing it up with your hands. A purchase that if you make it, you won't regret it and you'll use it. I'm gonna say at least once a week, you'll use this little gadget. I've talked about these before too and I just told Shy Guy last night, cause he's like, why are you putting all of these things in this container? I go, so I can take it in my office and film. <laughs> he's like, you're gonna talk about measuring spoons? You do when they're this great, <laughs> yes. So these are magnetized and we have like with each one, this is the tablespoon, we have an oblong and a round because have you ever had to go down into a can and the round won't fit? Well, I have. <laughs> so these are so great and I never lose them anymore because they're magnetized. You will not regret if you throw out your measuring spoons and get these, unless of course you already have these. This paper towel holder has been the best one I've ever had. I've had some that sat on countertop. I've had the kind that you screw into the wall. Okay, but this is the best one that I've ever owned in my life. And it's one that is magnetized. See this? These are very strong magnets. And <laughs> you can just put this on the refrigerator, pop your paper towels on there, and either do it this way to where they're standing straight up, or like I like to do them, which is to the side so that you can just pull them down. And I was very skeptical when I first got it because I thought this isn't gonna be strong enough. I'm gonna pull it off of the refrigerator. It's gonna make a big mess. Paper towels are gonna go everywhere and I'm gonna be chasing an unraveling roll. And no, that was not the case at all. Love it, totally worth the money. Doesn't cost very much. So now I think this is the first thing, won't be the last, where I show you footage of the item instead of showing it to you. I tend to think that 
If you're just showing me a picture of something, do you really own it? Or do you just want to get a commission on something? <laughs> I promise you everything in here I love and use and own. And for that reason, I took video of the things or pictures of the things in my house if I can't bring it in here and show it to you. And I really am lacking space, but, you know, I mean, it's just totally not necessary to bring my air fryer in here which I'm gonna show you right now. I've already talked to you about it, but I've had it longer. And I think this year I wanna get another one. I want two air fryers. That's how much I love my air fryer. I use it every single day. And there are days when I actually like want to make the potatoes in it, but I can't because the pork chops are in it or whatever. I would like to have one that does the vegetables and one that does the meat. There's all kinds of brands, as you know. And my mom and sister, they have a totally different kind of brand and they love theirs too. But the kind that I got is Kasori. They even have a community page on Facebook that you can belong to, share recipes. It comes with a recipe book. The basket's nice and large and I put it in my dishwasher to wash it. I wouldn't want to be without that. And like I said, I'm probably going to buy another one. Not that long ago, I bought a couple of things for organizing because I'm on this organization kick. <laughs> One of those things was something to organize the pots and pans because I have this cabinet, right? But, you know, you're not supposed to be stacking your pots and pans inside of each other. That's not good for the coating on them if you have a coating on there, and I do. So I didn't want that. I wanted to keep the lid on the pan, but, you know, it was just not working out in the designated pot and pan cabinet. So I got this thing here, and if you're like me, you probably don't get screwdrivers and stuff and sit down on the ground and put things together. <laughs> Some of you probably do, but I don't. So <laughs> right, this thing here, you don't need any tools at all. It comes with this center piece and then you put these, squeeze and put these shelves that are all very strong. It's a very sturdy thing. And I enjoy getting in there and not having to get down on the ground because it hurts me to bend over. This way I don't have to go sit down on the ground, fish through there for the pot or pan I'm looking for, and then try and get back up. <laughs> I just reach down there and get what I need. I don't know why I'm this way, but like, I don't want you to put stuff on my island. <laughs> don't be cluttering up my island. <laughs> I don't like stuff all over my dryer and I just wanted to get everything off the dryer. The only thing I want on the dryer are the dryer balls because I use those to go in the dryer all the time, but I don't need to be trying to, you know, work my hand around all these things. So I got this little cart and that frees up my shelves to hold my laundry detergents, my fabric softener, you know, my air fresheners, stuff like that. And you know, I've got everything organized in the cabinets now and it's so cute. It's made of plastic. You can put it together in five minutes and notice that this is a really little cart. So. It holds my rubber gloves, my sponges, and that's really all I needed to do. Just right there where I can access it easily and not on top of my dryer. And speaking of the dryer, something else that's in my laundry room that I really, really love, and you don't need to get a hammer and nails to put it on the wall. Like my mom has one that my dad built that's really nice that holds all of her brooms. My brooms, <laughs> the things you have with handles, they used to be propped up next to the dryer, but they would always get knocked over or fall over and fall behind the dryer. Ugh. So anyway, I bought these things that just stick on the wall. <laughs> and they're behind the door, so no one sees them when the door is opened. If the door is closed, you can see them. But when the door is open, you don't see them at all. And they just stick right on the wall. And they hold my brooms, my mop, uh, my old cedar mop, which that's another thing. I'll tell you about that. I love my old cedar mop set, but it holds the mop handle, my broom, and my duster that goes around. Those things kept falling down behind the dryer, drove me crazy. So I just got these. You just peel the back off, stick it on the wall. <laughs> What's easier than that? That old cedar spin mop, oh man, that has been a game changer for cleaning my walls, my floors, and my cabinets. So do yourself a favor, get an extra pack okay of the little mop things so one is for floors one is for the cabinets one is for the walls you just pop that on there just take the, the mop in the water put it in the spin thing take your foot spin it it gets all the excess water off so you're not ringing anymore you're not having to put it in the sink and then go to town like i said you can wash your walls your floors and you know well whatever you know 
<laughs> Take it off there and use it to wash your countertops. <laughs> yeah. It's a really great tool that I'm so happy I found. I'm not sure where I heard about that, but it, it was a game changer in this household. So I got this dish drainer and it's collapsible. So if you don't want it in your sink or on your countertop, you can just collapse it down and store it underneath the sink. It also travels nice for an RV, which is how I heard about it in the first place. I was watching an RV video one time and this lady had it. This has been a couple years ago. I've had this thing for a few years now. In fact, I think my mom got it for me for Christmas. I think I told her I wanted it a few years ago. Love this thing. Mine typically sits in one side of my sink. But if you need both sides of your sink, you can just use the base, which I typically keep right next to the drainer in the sink. You can put that on the countertop, put your drainer on there, and then it just goes right down into the sink. If you want it out of the way, collapse it, stick it under the sink. So nice. Love this drainer. And like I said, because it's collapsible and saves room, you can take it with you in your RV when you travel. Yeah. And if we're talking about collapsible things, then we have to talk about this because I use this every single day. Fortunately for me, Shy Guide is not tired of having a side salad because my portion of meat is like half of my palm. <laughs> and then a big salad. This is the best salad spinner that I've ever had. I do spin wash my salads because one time I watched this video of this person and they showed little bugs were crawling around in the pre-washed salad. And I'm like, Ooh. So of course you put your salad in here and this, if you want it to, will collapse down to store flat in a cabinet. See? This collapses down the same way and you can just store it flat in your cabinet. But mine doesn't get collapsed down because it's always in use. If it's not in the collapsible drainer drying, it is, you know, being used to actually spin salad. There's really just two of us eating salad, so I don't need anything bigger than this. This is perfect size for us. It stores easily and I like the way this one spins. The old one that I had had a pump and you pumped it and it cracked the side of it because it wasn't made of this kind of material. It was like actual plastic. So there was no forgiveness in storing it. If you weren't careful, you can crack it like I did. I don't know. It just didn't work as well as this does. This works really good. I like my salad spinner. Since we're talking about salad, I'll bring this in here too because last time when I showed you, I forgot to show you this one here. So these come in a set of three. They are the best keepers because they keep your vegetables fresh for a long time. The one that's the next size down is in the refrigerator with strawberries in it right now. My strawberries don't go bad in the refrigerator anymore. I put these things here so that two holes are open on both sides and I wash the strawberries in the thing, open this up, drain it out, then I put it in the refrigerator and I take it out every night get my strawberries out or my lettuce. There's a smaller one. Like I said, it's in a set of three. It comes with one like this that's folded up and it comes with this. See how this keeps this vegetables from actually touching the bottom and laying in water. But if you wanted, like if this was too big, maybe you're single and you don't want to fill this whole thing up with lettuce, this is really nice for cutting that in half in case this is too big for you. I chop up the romaine, put it in here, wash it in here, drain it in here, take it right to the refrigerator. I can't not have these either. I just gotta talk about this again. So this is my hair dryer that I do my hair with. This thing unscrews here at the top so you can take that off and wash it when it gets too yucky. And it will, all brushes do, don't they? If you are heating tool brush challenged, I mean, if you have a problem with holding a round brush and a hair dryer and doing your hair, this, will help you. It will also train you so that you get used to doing that because now I actually can, if I want, use the blow dryer and a round brush, whereas I couldn't before I got this thing. So I really like it. It's got a curl release here on it in case you get wound. If your hair is longer than mine, you get wound. But if your hair is longer than mine, I wouldn't recommend this just because it doesn't get that hot and 
you know, it's really meant for more short hair. These are not bristles, they're plastic. And I've been using this for a pretty good long time now. Highly recommend this Hot Tools Professional hair dryer roller brush. As These kids got my mom a Apple Watch because we wanted to make sure that she didn't take a spill and, you know, that she could get help. We bought, you know, special bands, you know, that were elastic and this nice little, I'll show you a picture of it, this nice little docking station uh, for her watch to go on. And I've always liked that docking situation there, but I don't want to pay what Apple charged for that. So I went looking for something and I found something that I love. And this thing is silicone and it's got a spot in the bottom where the cord can go and the charger just comes right up in it and you can put your watch on it. And there you go. You got a little docker for your Apple watch. It doesn't just sit on the dresser because I don't know about you, but I'm constantly knocking it off there. Another thing that I use all the time in the bedroom to hold all my skincare are my cosmetic towers. So I have one on the dresser and one in the closet. The one in the closet holds all my overflow. And without these, I wouldn't be able to find anything. <laughs> so it's just really easy and a nice way to organize. For the money, they hold a lot of stuff. And I don't think that you can go wrong. If you're looking for one, these are really good. Whether you wanna use them for cosmetics or you want to use them for skincare or like I do in the closet to hold backups, overflows, my Fire TV. And this might be something where you can really cash in and save. I used to just have Apple stuff and Apple TVs. And I was afraid to switch over when it came to the entertainment because I thought that maybe it wouldn't play nice with my Apple purchases. But you can download an app for that. In our household, we now have two Fire Sticks and my Fire TV in my bedroom. And here's how good this is. We have a 72-inch smart TV in our living room and we're using a fire stick with it. And the reason is because some apps like Hulu don't like Samsung and they keep crashing. That is aggravating when you're watching your show and then it crashes and then you got to go back out, go in, find the right user, load it all back up, crash. I first thought that it was because the cache needed emptied on it, but no, it just, for some reason, some apps don't work with certain brands of TVs, but I've not found one that has not been compatible with the Fire TV or the Fire Stick. You don't already have one, you might wanna pick up or replace your TV with a Fire TV or a Fire Stick. So the outlet in the living room that I most often want to use for the vacuum cleaner, I can. You can read minds, right? Because that's what you're gonna have to do here. I'm not explaining myself why. The reason is because it's just, you know, got the two spots that you can plug into. The top one had something plugged into it that it'd be really nice to not unplug that. The one on the bottom had an extender that would allow you to plug three things into, but that was really old and questionable whether or not we should be even using it. But the point is that all four things were taken and nowhere to plug the vacuum. We also have to take the little USB plugger in thingies and plug those in so we can plug our USBs in. So this situation is actually really ideal because it's got six plugs that you can go into two USBs, it's a surge protector, and it even has a nightlight on it. How can you not love this? Now I can plug in my vacuum cleaner if I want to, and I've got spare room for other things that I can plug in. It's got room to grow. <laughs> so, oh, this might be a good time for me to pick these up and get them in the rest of the house. The last two things are things that I have talked to you about before. I'm gonna bring them up again because they're that great. They are life changing things in this household. They might be for you too. And I cannot show you either one, but I do have pictures <laughs> so that you know I really have them. <laughs> one is my bidet. And I just love it when people come over here and they go to the bathroom and they're like, your seat is warm. <laughs> if you're in America, you might like to wipe your butt with toilet paper. <laughs> but I don't like that anymore because after you start thinking about that, you'd be like, hmm, if you went outside and you got bird poop on you, would you just take a tissue and wipe it off? If you went to the bathroom and you accidentally put your finger through the toilet paper and got some on your finger, would you just wipe it off? 
No, you'd go to the sink and you'd wash it with soap and water, wouldn't you? I'm just saying, a bidet is kind of important to me. This bidet, we just love it. You can adjust the pressure on the hose. It's got a front wash and back wash. It's self-cleaning. It's got a little light on it. So at night, you don't have to turn on the lights. You can find your way to the commode. I think after one day, you'd be like, why was I not doing this before? <laughs> and the last thing is our security camera set up again. And we like the Eufy system. The Eufy system is really easy because unlike most security cameras, you don't have to have a cloud service that you pay on every month. Right over there, right back behind those flowers, that's where the base station is for this. It's got a little micro SD card in it that stores the stuff right there. And then you just format it when it gets full. I don't pay a cloud service. I don't need it. Another reason I love the UV cameras is because if you want, you can have them indoors and they're magnets. Take it down when you want to charge it. But if you're like us and you want them outside, you don't have to rely on just those magnets to hold them in. They also have screws that will screw them in so that if somebody's trying to steal your cameras, you're going to know about it. Like most security cameras, it runs on an app on your phone so that you can talk to people on it. You know, it's just a really nice, inexpensive way to have security around your house or inside your house if you want. My mom and dad got theirs based on us liking ours. And, you know, they've even added another camera. So you can add two if you decide that you want more cameras and... I just highly recommend Eufy. And that's all I got for you today. It was a lot, I know. Like I said, I'll have some Amazon lists ready for you so that you just have to click one link and you can go there and hopefully I'll have all this stuff there. I hope you guys will remember to come back and share with me if you got any of these things, how you liked them. I hope that you guys will let me know things that I might need to get during Amazon Prime Day. Hope you guys know you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And that if you're not having a blessed day, the way you can get one is to go be a blessing to somebody else. Isn't that easy? Until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. It looks like I got, like, scratched by a cat with fever. Cat's <laughs> Cat scratch fever. Cat scratch fever. Da -na -na -na. What is my favorite thing in the bed? Ooh, don't answer that. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Put the pillow in your pants and fly. <laughs> Cause you'll want hunk of hunk of not burnt chili meat. I said a hunk of hunk of not burnt chili meat. On this paper towel holder that I was skeptical. PETA, you idiot. What are you doing? Did you hear my throat fart? It goes girl while I was talking. Gross. <coughs> really? I ate a bug. <laughs> I just ate a bug. <gasps> Keep your mouth closed. To sit next to the dryer. Peter. Mm. And then you can put like lettuce over here. I don't know. Peter. What are you doing? Okay. That was a nice break for you, right? We're halfway there. Living on a prayer, take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. Oh, living on a prayer.